So right now I'm in the Symfony documentation and uh, let's just scroll down and click this link create your own framework for the beginning we are going to follow the documentation later we will do something uh, special with it so i suggest you create a directory and you navigate into it so I created something like this so I am the temporal folder symphony build framework and uh, we shall do this like this is like the old way of doing things without symphony So I will write it down once again. So get is a global uh, variable. Printf is a PHP function for printing something on the screen. Uh, it's quite simple. You just replace the S with and the special character with the variable let's just see what we have okay right now we are just playing around so I will start a new server okay so I started the server in the build framework directory. I have some junk in here. I can delete this. It doesn't matter. So I did this. So I run the local web server. And let's just go to this URL and see what we get. So, we basically get hello Fabian. If I replace this get parameter with world, I will get hello world. But this is like the simplest request response you can get. So, this is what Symphony documentation is trying to tell us. Uh, I suggest you read all of the documentation uh, for your own sake like it's gonna be important for you it's this is like some sort of validation if is set if the global variable is set set the name equal to the global variable if it's not set then this will be called like this is php uh, basic conditional header what type of header is this this is set in the HTTP header section of the document okay so we see we have some uh, unit tests here okay we are not going to bother with this but this is quite important. Composer require a Symfony HTTP foundation. This is like the backbone of Symfony. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the server for a while. Copy this line. Or I can type it. I suggest you type uh, for most of the time it's better to type than just to like copy and paste. When you type your brain works better, you're more interactive with the computer and I suggest you do that. It, 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 it's, it's pretty much much better for 
your development career yeah okay so we included the symphony http foundation foundation had its own dependencies so its own composer file and it included symphony polyfill polyfill and string deprecation contract http foundation okay so we have included with composer require we get this okay we get what we required we required version 5.1 composer lock keeps the lock file keep uh, basically like it's what it's called it's a lock file yeah the editor I'm using is uh, PHP Storm. It's quite expensive, really, but it's worth the money. But you can use Sublime Text as well. Uh, Sublime Text is free, but I'm gonna use PHP Storm because PHP Storm has some really good features like in which i can show you i can uh, click control click and it will uh, show me uh, where this file is located for example so i can uh, talk you through the code and uh, try to explain to it in a plain language what's really going on as far as i understand it so we included the HTTP foundation. Okay, so so the documentation tell us not, tells us now. Okay, so let's rewrite our application by using the request and response classes. That's really nice because Symfony component HTTP foundation is giving us two classes: request and response so what request does it it's just a wrapper around the request response is just a wrapper of the response what do i mean by wrapper when let's write this code first okay let's re remove this let's run it and see what happens okay we should rerun the server let's see this in action if i uh, okay if it has okay that's really simple yeah if it has a parameter it will print one if, if it doesn't you it will just append world so uh, what's going on here you know you remember the global one get name Well, what Symfony HTTP Foundation is doing, it's basically wrapping it in the request object. So, uh, I don't think we should. Uh, I, I suggest you type all of the code just so it stays in your fingers okay <laughs> in your finger memory let's call it that so request and response is a global object and I will talk about it 
in the next lesson. Thank you.